is the 31st of August, 2016, for Vincent Corporation in Tampa, Florida. Uh, we're going to run a test. I think we're going to run it in this little screw press here. You see a motor and a gearbox. That drives the screw, screw the press, uh, to force material through this press. The solids will come out of this end, and the liquid will come through the screen. If it works, this one's highly dubious. Um, the material we have put some, uh, we have two five gallon pails. It looks like we have put both pails into a double boiler here that we put together, burning propane. There you see the flame. And we're boiling the water. And uh, this is the material. And in the bottom, Somebody has stirred, stirred this up. Put the all fogged over. Yeah, okay. Uh, the stir stick, what you're looking at there are particles of bone. And, uh, boy, this stuff is heated up nicely. Uh, we tried some the other day, and, and it was uh, very bad. I'll repeat that test. I hope this doesn't get too jerky. sample and what I've got over here is something I got out of the scrap dump dumpster. Uh, notice it has material on it. This is what I ran down there. That's particle of bone on a five perf screen. Let's try that again now. And there it goes through. Clue is did we get anything to come through the screen? Uh, we got a little more than last that we got yes uh, last week when we ran this. You can see we're separating some of the particles of bone, but uh, basically a static screen isn't going to do the trick. Uh, maybe if we had that vibrating, like a squeaker screen, uh, we could get the liquid to go through. It's a pretty cool way we've made this uh, double boiler here. Got it clamped in so the pot doesn't float up and out. And it's just a tank uh, of Here's a quick plant tour. These are, uh, I see, shredders and presses that have come back of VFD. These uh, cardboard, uh, plywood veneer boxes are going air freight. Uh, you're looking at probably 20 grand worth of air freight to Argentina. Presses in those. Here's a press that looks ready to ship. Uh, some rental presses here. And we're looking at the uh, screw department. Uh, there's the flights that we use to make the screws. And anyway, quick view of it. Screw presses are up. This is the assembly department. There's a press, another, 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 about four or five of these in process right now. Some more presses here in the staging area, various stages. Uh, here's a couple 30 inch presses, very big ones from the uh, rental fleet. Staging area for uh, mostly stainless steel components used in the process. Okay, we're getting samples. We can try pouring some on there as well. In the meantime, I've got the press here. It's running. I'm going to operate the air cone, and there you see the cone close. Otherwise, it would pour out. Maybe they just tried that just. We'll try a little more. Turn it this way so I can see the back side of the screen. I can move the other side. There we go. Ooh, that's screening. We're, we're getting a flow through there. With a uh, parabolic shape or a S shape, we could probably uh, pre thicken this stuff. What do you have left on the screen? Okay, we're on the right track here with the temperature. Clear liquid. Okay. Okay, here we go. Around here. Okay, it's coming through the screen. Oh, that looks good. Get a pail under there to catch it. Okay, that, um, this 
this looks marginal to me. I think the flow is getting to be a little bit less. Um, of course, it's a real dilute stuff there. You can see the flow going into the pail. Uh, uh, let's pour some more in here. When we poured some more in, we just needed a little more head in here. Okay. Uh, notice it, it's just churning in there. Nothing's happening. Nothing's coming through the screen. Uh, our lens is clearing up. Sorry. And uh, we're going to pour the rest of our sample in. Go ahead and pour it in. I think you'll see immediate reaction. As soon as we get some real hot stuff in there, it starts coming through the screen, the press is working. Uh, the temperature allowed the screen to unblind, and um, I think this would be a stable operation. This material is very dilute. Look at the flow of the press liquor there. That's good. This is good. As long as we keep it hot, it works okay. And see four little spots right there? Uh, those are resistor keys. We can inject steam through those if we need to heat this in line. Um, we must have formed a plug here. That is, we're getting very little flow coming out, draining past uh, the end. The screw's turning, uh, I think this one goes 28 RPM, and uh, which is a little fast. The slot width in the screen is probably uh, 15 to 20 thousandths of an inch, and uh, they're getting the rest of the sample. We'll put that in, then we're going to open up slowly here and see uh, what it looks like. Like that, and action, we get action. As soon as we pump in the foreign hot material, look what happens. Before it gets to empty, it stops doing that. The reason we're doing this is just to see if we can get uh, an idea what the press kick will look like. Either. I thought there'd be a plug of cake at the end. My greatest technical success in this uh, mess was uh, this. Uh, when it was hot, to a fine first screen, we got a fairly decent separation. Uh, these are the uh, containers from uh, running a uh, moisture test uh, on and so that was the material that we heated up and the material, the press liquor that came out of the press. Results are interesting uh, as received before pressing and then the press liquor after the screw press. Uh, both readings are essentially identical. We never get readings that close. In other words, uh, uh, the flow of press liquor uh, um, you know, had the same solids as what was going into the press. As you can see in the video, 
Uh, it's not clear if we were, I think we were separating the bone, we just needed uh, uh, to run a much longer uh, and bigger sample.